LeBron James, you mentioned it. He implied in a tweet that it was fishy that he had to miss four games over a 10-day stretch there in the NBA's COVID-19 protocol. And he appears to have been vindicated. He's expected to play tonight against the Crosstown Clippers. who will also cost you 10 for Chirac. So chase your fade that it is a LeBron night tonight. I'm a little bit worried because of the fact if you look at the game lock over the last three games, the only game that LeBron really played well was in their last game, which was not an overtime. So they went to triple overtime against the Kings. They went to overtime in their previous game, and the only game he played really well was against the Pistons. Yes, the Clippers aren't as bad as the Pistons, and they aren't as good as like the Suns or the Warriors, but they just have a robust team, good length on the wings, and I just feel like it's really difficult to sit here and say, hey, jamming LeBron, He's, uh, he's been recovered when there's other bigger, better options on the slate. So he's viable. I would consider him for a showdown or a late slate because if you look at the late slate game, everyone's going to go to um, Curry or yeah. these other guys. So I think he makes some sense there, especially if AD is out. So he's questionable. So that's the biggest part of the news here. This is a 10 o'clock game, so we are unlikely to get the information before the game starts about AD being in or out. So that's an option to consider. If AD is out, then you definitely want to consider LeBron.